What is up guys? Justin here with a pickups video for you today. Uh, it's been a couple months now I think since my last upload and it's not because I haven't been finding anything. Uh, those of you that follow our Facebook or our Twitter pages which are linked down in the description uh, will see that I've been doing pretty decent as of lately as far as like the pickups and stuff go. I just haven't really been finding a whole lot that I felt was worth sitting down and, and doing a pickup video for until this past week when I picked up a pretty insane NES, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis bundle with a couple pretty hard to find games and a couple items for my collection as well. So this was a Facebook deal. Um, I'll explain kind of how it all went down and what I paid for everything at the end. Um, I'm going to jump into this and show quickly um, the couple systems and accessories that I got. There really wasn't a whole lot here. We have an NES system, uh, console only, no cables, no controllers. Uh, there was no game in there. And um, it's, I mean, it's in okay shape. I got to do a little more cleaning on it. There's a sticker and stuff I got to get off of there, but uh, not in bad shape. Uh, there was also an NES satellite that came with this deal, which would have been really cool, except that it's missing the battery cover. And I can't imagine that 6C batteries are going to stay in here very well without the battery cover. But um, I'll probably test this out anyway just to see if it works. That's if I have 6C batteries, which now that I think of it, I don't, I don't believe that I do. But it had the little receiver thing attached to the front here as well. And then totally randomly, there was a PS2 Slim system uh, and memory card, I guess. But there was no cables, no controllers, no games. Um, that was empty as well. So, just kind of random, but um, the systems and that NES satellite were kind of just thrown in <laughs> at the end for super cheap. Um, again, I'll explain that all at the end, but I'm going to hop into the games that I got here, starting out with the NES games and starting out with a trilogy here. We got actually two copies of the first Castlevania, and I don't know if it's going to come across on camera, but some of these cartridges, including this one, like the top half of it is all discolored. Uh, it's almost like yellow, um, so I don't exactly know what happened there. Um, but then this one, the front of it's in better shape, but the back needs to be replaced. But that's not a problem. I can I can take care of that. Um, there was a copy of Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, and Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Uh, moving on to another series of games here. Uh, this is half of the series. Uh, we got the very first Mega Man. This is not one that I see very often. Um, I see like Mega Man 2 and 3 pretty frequently. I've had a couple copies of Mega Man 4 recently, but this is one that I, I don't really see very often. Um, I've even had a couple copies of Mega Man 5, uh, but not so much this one. Uh, we also got Mega Man 2, also discolored, and Mega Man 3. So uh, here's some cheaper ones here. You got your Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. We got a copy of Kung Fu. We got Double Dragon, Excite Bike, Super Mario Bros. 3. We got Metroid here, which, yeah, this was the one, I think the only one that had something rattling around inside of it, but uh, should be okay. And we got uh, Deadly Towers here. A couple more stacks of NES games. We got a Tengen Pac-Man. We got Rad Racer. Wizards and Warriors. Tetris. We got a gold cartridge of The Legend of Zelda. And a gray cartridge of Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Which this one had, it looks like a GameStop sticker, which I believe says $7.99 on it. And actually, Back during the holidays when GameStop was doing a bunch of their uh, sales and stuff on their, their used stuff and their retro stuff, I picked up a couple copies of Zelda 2, and I want to say that they were also $7.99. Uh, this price sticker looks a lot like one of the older GameStop ones, but uh, uh, yeah, $7.99. Good deal for that one. Uh, this one was kind of a surprise. So this was in the pictures that he sent me, but I kind of just glossed over this one, and when I got home and I saw it, I was like... Oh, nice. It is Advanced Dungeons & Dragons Pool of Radiance, which is one that I wasn't sure that I had for my collection, but it turns out I do, so 
I'll have to do some condition comparison. Uh, but yeah, this is like a you know, like forty-ish dollar cartridge, so it's kind of a nice surprise when I got home. And another fairly uncommon one here, Captain America and the Avengers. Another one that I wasn't totally sure that I had. Um, it turns out that I do. And mine is probably in better shape because this one's got like, sticker residue and stuff on the front. But um, this one's not quite as expensive as the Pool of Radiance. It's like $15 or $20 or something like that. Uh, so yeah, that was all for the NES stuff. Move on next to the Super Nintendo games here. Uh, not nearly as many. I've got like five to show here. So... Let's see, I'll save those two for last. Um, we got Spider-Man, X-Men, Arcade's Revenge, another Dungeons and Dragons game here, uh, Eye of the Beholder. We got Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, the uh, Million Seller version. And to go along with that, we also have a copy of Legend of Zelda Parallel Worlds, which I was very surprised to find, you know, locally. Uh, from what I know, this was a ROM hack of A Link to the Past, and that's really all I know about it. Um, I have seen some gameplay of it, and I did watch a little bit more gameplay of it after I picked this up, just to kind of get a better idea of what it was. But my understanding is it's, like I said, a ROM hack of A Link to the Past. I think they changed the story up a little bit, and they might have changed like some of the map and the items and stuff like that. Um, but either way, I mean, this is one that, that Ryan and I are interested in checking out. It's been a long time since I played through A Link to the Past, so uh, I think we're going to try this one out. Um, something interesting, though, um, when I went on like eBay and stuff to kind of get an idea of you know what this goes for, I could not find this label variant of it. Um, it looked like they had put out a couple different versions of Parallel Worlds, um, and maybe it was a couple different companies that produced these cartridges. But yeah, I could not find this label variant. So if someone can, knows anything about this and can let me know, that would be greatly appreciated. I do remember back when I got like my Super Metroid redesign uh, from Time Walk Games when they were still around. Um, at that same time, Time Walk Games was also doing a version of Parallel Worlds. So I don't know if this is the one that they put out or, or who put this out or whatever. But uh, yeah, someone, someone drop a comment and give me some more information on this. Um, but I'm interested to check this out. And then finally for the Super Nintendo, we got what appears to be a factory sealed copy of Super Empire Strikes Back. So I'm not like an expert or anything on Super Nintendo seals. Um, this one looked a little suspect at first because there was no like noticeable seams or anything on the back. But it does have a hang tab on here that appears to be legit. So I'm thinking that this is a le legit seal. Um, the seams are kind of on the side there. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Someone can drop a comment. Let me know on this as well. Um, I'm going to keep it as is, I think, and hang on to it as a sealed copy for the collection. Um, when he handed me the bin of stuff with all the games in it, I don't know why. This was sitting on the very bottom of it, getting basically crushed by everything else. Luckily, there wasn't a ton of games with this deal, or this box would have been really crushed. Um, so I don't know why the guy thought that was a good idea to, to you know box everything up like that. But luckily, it looks like it's okay. Um, there are a couple like minor creases and stuff on the edges. I don't know if that happened, you know, when he boxed it up or if those were already there, but it's not a huge deal. I don't see any like rips or holes in the shrink wrap or anything. So awesome collection piece there. And then moving on to uh, the Sega Genesis games. Um, the only box one I got was Prince of Persia, which is not in great shape. <laughs> I don't know if this is like sun damage or, or water damage or both, but the front of that looks kind of rough there, and it did not have a manual. just had the cartridge in there. So uh, I'll probably hold off until I find a better condition <laughs> copy for my collection. Uh, we got Sonic 2, Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, NBA Jam, Street Fighter 2, and finally, to end this video, we got a cartridge-only uh, copy of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Another one that I don't come across very often. Um, I think I do have it complete, yes, uh, for my collection, so I'm not really too concerned that this one's not in great shape. It's got like, I don't know if this is like candle wax or what this is on the top, but hoping I can clean that up. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, we, him and I were having a conversation about this when we met up. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a conversation piece game more than anything, but uh, yeah, not super cheap either. I think like 30 or $40 for a cartridge only on that one. So anyway, 
uh, that was everything that I got with this bundle. Uh, as I mentioned, this was a Facebook deal. And how this came about was, um, so I've told you guys before how um, Ryan and I sell you know, our doubles and stuff up at his uncle's antique shop. And so every now and then, um, I'll just put up like a Facebook post, you know, on my personal page and on the, like the local classifieds pages, just kind of advertising that, Hey, you know, this antique shop has retro video games, um, just to kind of get some traffic in the door. And someone got a hold of me through one of those Facebook posts and asked if, you know, we also buy and trade games and stuff. And I said, yeah. And he told me that he was moving, uh, downsizing, and he sent me a picture of all this stuff and said, um, he sent me a picture of all the games um, and said that, you know, he was just looking to get $100 for everything. And I was like, <laughs> you know, I saw a couple of the games, you know, the, the three Mega Man games, the sealed Star Wars, the Moonwalk, you know, and I was like, uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, that sounds good to me. So we agreed on $100 for all the games. And then as I was driving there to meet him, he messaged me and said, hey, you know, I found this NES system, this PS2, uh, and he's like, you can just have them for super cheap, we'll figure it out you know, when we meet up. And so, yeah, we met up, he's like, yeah, just how about 10 extra dollars for the systems? Uh, so $110 for everything I just showed, which is really insane. Um, not a ton of games, but uh, some really nice ones in here, and a couple of these, you know, I'm happy to get for the, uh, the collection as well. So, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm hoping I don't go another, you know, couple months without uh, uploading a video for you guys. Um, but as I mentioned, you know, I've still been picking stuff up. If you guys want to go follow the Facebook page or the Twitter page or whatever um, and see the stuff I pick up kind of in between videos, um, it's just, if I'm not, you know, if I'm picking stuff up that I, and I'm not keeping any of it for my collection or it's just a bunch of like filler junk or whatever, or it was kind of just one of those sort of okay deals, I just don't feel like it's worth it to sit down and, and do a video for it. But something like this, uh, yeah, definitely. I'm pretty excited about this one. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for sticking around and checking out this whole video. And until next time, take care.